Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an incredible sauce, tried and true classic that has been around for centuries, and it's filetta de pomodoro. And I know you're gonna have great results, particularly using Arreo's homemade marinara sauce. 14 minutes to cook, just about the same amount of time that you're going to be cooking your pasta. I'm going to add my olive oil. I'm gonna smash some of my garlic. I'm gonna throw that in the pan. And what I have here is about a quarter pound of thinly sliced prosciutto. I've rolled it up, as you see. I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to roll it up here. Once it's rolled up, take your chef knife and you're gonna cut it into about quarter inch pieces. Oh, I hear my garlic shimmering. Now I know my oil's to temperature. I'm gonna add about a cup of julienned onions. I'm gonna throw that right in my pan over here. Get a little flavor on it. Oil all over. Now I'm gonna take my prosciutto. Now don't worry if it's clumping a little bit because it's gonna separate as it cooks. We're gonna saute the onions until they start to break down a little bit and become transparent. This procedure point is gonna take about three minutes. And you'll also note that the prosciutto now is taking on a little bit more of an appearance of bacon, which is exactly what we want because you're gonna pick up these little bits of prosciutto with every fork full of pasta that you take. So it looks like we're ready now to add our Rayo's homemade marinara sauce. We're gonna use two jars. You can use one if you're four people, but today I have about eight people joining me for dinner and two jars of sauce and a pound and a half of pasta is just the right amount. As this starts to simmer, I'm gonna add crushed black pepper. It really enhances the flavor profile. In this recipe, I'm gonna show you a great Italian secret to coating every piece of pasta with this delicious sauce. I'm gonna add some Pecorino Romano cheese. This measurement's at your own discretion, whatever you like. I like a little bit extra cheese. I like that little punch. Fresh basil leaves, just drop them in there. One of the reasons why you put the basil in at the very end is because it releases its flavor very quickly. And if you leave it too long in the sauce, the sauce overpowers the basil. We're ready to plate. Some fresh basil, and voila.